Hi guys, today we are reviewing the gaming beast Red Magic 7. The phone is packed with the latest flagship specs and even more. Red Magic has improved and implemented a lot of cool tech inside the phone. This is the fastest smartphone I have ever tested and because of that I got a new record in the Antutu benchmark test. Pretty impressive. Starting from the box, you can feel that there will be a cool looking device inside. There are three variants of the Red Magic 7 and today we are reviewing the Pulsar version that comes with the impressive 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Inside the box we have a SIM card ejector tool and a silicon phone case. I even prefer playing games with the case, it gives an extra grip. Next in the box we have one red color USB Type-C to Type-C charging cable. We also have one 65 watt fast charger to charge the 4500 mAh battery. And here it is guys, this is how far the gaming phones has reached and the Red Magic is definitely leading the game. The colors of this variant looks amazing, you have to see it on a daylight, pretty shining thing. When it comes to specs, we can talk for a long time, however, let me mention some of the important ones. For CPU, we have the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, there are three phone variants with different memory, starting from 12 gigs of RAM and going up to the impressive 18 gigs. Continue with 6.8 inches AMOLED display with up to 165Hz refresh rate. We have three cameras on the back, 64, 2 and 8 megapixels. On the front we have 8 megapixels camera. We also have to mention the support of 3.5mm audio jack. As a true gaming phone, Red Magic 7 features two shoulder trigger buttons with a sample rate of 500Hz. The price of the Red Magic 7 starts from about 600 US dollars and goes up to 800 for the top version. As always, there is a link in the description if you want to learn more or get for yourself one of these impressive gaming phones. From the settings, we can control the speed of the cooling fan or use the auto intelligent adjustment. There are also several options to control the LED lights on the back of the phone while we are playing games or charging the phone. As for the cooling system, I don't know if there is another company that pays more attention to this. I can only say that you get the best cooling system on a phone, period. The display of the Red Magic 7 is super smooth and crisp. We can choose from 60 to up to 165Hz refresh rate. You can always see the current refresh rate on the top left corner. You can see the difference between the different refresh rates in my slow motion test. As for security features, we have 7th generation fingerprint sensor that is super fast and accurate. The face recognition function also works quite well. We can unlock the phone super fast with the bot functions. Although the Red Magic 7 is a gaming phone and understandably the focus will be on the gaming features, the camera has also received a nice upgrade over the previous generation. On the back of the phone we have a 64 megapixels main camera that is capable of taking decent photos. I think with this upgrade the saying that because this is a gaming phone don't expect to take good photos and videos is no longer relevant. And guys, now comes the moment of truth. With all these top of the line specs, I am expecting nothing but the best score in the Antutu benchmark. So enough talking and let's do it. The numbers are talking guys, the numbers are talking, this is the best score I have ever gotten in the Antutu benchmark, or I should say welcome to the 1 million score club, it seems all these tweaks are paying the price, pretty impressive.
Now is the time for the real gaming test. We will play Call of Duty and assign the shoulder trigger buttons. There is a dedicated gaming switch on the left side of the phone with which we are entering into the gaming mode. From there we have full access to all the gaming features. We can see the current speed of the CPU and the GPU. We can change the display refresh rate, control the speed of the cooling fan and start the screen recording. With the Red Magic OS version 5 we have access to a special plugin library, so now you can know if there is an event coming in some of your games and get a notification reminder. Overall there are a lot of cool gaming features that you can take advantage of. I can say that the trigger buttons are a big plus while gaming. If you want to improve your gaming skills you should definitely try them. Once you get used to a phone like a Red Magic 7, it's very difficult to get back to your regular smartphone for gaming. I am entering a beast mode now. So guys this is definitely my new favorite gaming phone, that thing has 16 gigs of RAM, more than some PC, we are living in interesting times, the phones are getting powerful as desktop computers. The phone case is quite useful I must say and it's great they have included it in the box. The Red Magic 7 has a pretty impressive specs, it's a flagship device and with a starting price of only 600 bucks. I can say this is a great deal. When it comes to battery life it can be better, but we will end with a much thicker and heavier device. However, the fast charging is pretty impressive, even if you are playing games a quick charge will fill the juice in no time. That's it for today guys, if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer you. Until then, thanks for watching and as always, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, don't be shy, take care and I will see you soon.